Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. So today I've got something to show you that it's, it's not uranium glass like I've showed you in some previous videos, but it glows like uranium glass because it does have uranium in it. This is some uh, kitchenware that has uh, uranium in the glaze. So uh, let, let's go ahead and take a look. So I got this whole big set of this stuff and um, I, I only had one to start with. I had found it in an antique, antique mall. Uh, that was this one. And you see this is Hull's Superior Kitchenware. And um, they made this for a number of decades, as I understand. And so uh, some of them have uranium in the glaze, some that were made from probably the older periods, uh, I would guess. And um, some of the newer ones, they do not have uranium in the glaze, and so they don't glow. Uh, now, I've been able to tell a, a little bit of a difference in some of these now that I know which ones glow and which ones don't because like this one glows there's a little bit of a yellowish tinge in the uh, glaze that I can detect and then this one doesn't glow it looks whiter there's not that yellowish tinge at least you know that's what it looks like to me so the the really best way to tell though is with the UV flashlight so I've got one of those right here and you can see that glows green definitely this one does this one here this little teacup and there's four of, uh, of these ones in this set they all glow this one back here glows but the lid interestingly does not glow so I think the lid maybe came from a different time period maybe it's newer and they just found the lid to match up with the um, with the uh, base so that part of it glows and then this picture back here that one glows nicely as well but you'll see with these there's this stack of three here none of that glows so my guess is it was made um, in a more recent time and uh, this one here doesn't glow none of the ones over on this side glow this nice salt and pepper shaker I was really hoping that they were gonna glow because that would be cool but they do not and then there's a little bowl here and a larger bowl back here. Those ones don't glow. Um, so when you see this, um, I think it's called an autumn leaf pattern in this hull superior. Uh, there's no guarantee that they're going to glow. You've got to check it yourself because some glow and some do not. But it's pretty cool. And uh, so what I'm going to do too is I'm going to uh, show you guys what this looks like when it's darker. I'll turn some of the lights off and I'm actually going to wait until it's nighttime so it will be a lot darker in here and we'll see this glow a whole lot better. So it's darker now. You'll be able to see this a bit better. That one glows very brightly. I noticed the lid on this one doesn't glow, so I don't know if it was um, if the lid was replaced uh, more recently or if it was just made that way. And I think also on this picture, or no, actually the the lid does glow on the picture, so I take that back. But uh, it does not glow definitely on this one. Now, I will tell you that another way I can tell that. Uh, these have uranium in the glaze because there are other things other than uranium that glow under UV. But let's let me show you something. This is a Geiger counter, and it's measuring right now my background radiation, which is around 13, 14 counts per minute CPM. Um, so it's actually. Um, it's it's been on for several minutes and um, it's it may be reading slightly higher now that I moved it over here by the table because we, I've had these uh, these things sitting here on this table for a while so we're getting a little bit of a higher reading over here than I was on the other side of the room but but you'll see that um, you know if, if this didn't have something radioactive in it 
then it would not read any higher than the background radiation. But we're going to put this Geiger counter down inside this bowl here. And you can hear it's counting higher. You can hear it in the clicks right now. And I believe this one uh, gets up to maybe 150 or something like that on the reading. Um, I'll stop the recording for a minute and we'll come back and check it when it's a little higher. You can see that the Geiger counter has gotten to just over 100 here. It's not, uh, I don't think it's going to get much higher. It seems to be kind of stabilizing around this area. Um, but, uh, you know, you've got to take the background radiation out. So it's, you know, the actual counts per minute are, are this uh, minus about 14 is what I was getting in this room. But we're up to about 107, 108 um, minus that. Um, so definitely well above the background radiation. And so there's definitely radioactive elements in here. And, you know, due to the glow and everything, it's, it's definitely going to be uranium that is in the glaze in this. Um, and it's, it's getting a little bit higher, uh, actually. We're at 110 there. I put it down in this, uh, this pitcher here. I was getting about 200 uh, was the reading off of that one. So, you know, they're not all going to be the same. They'll have different amounts of uh, radiation in the, uh, the glazes, just depending on how much they used in that particular piece. But uh, if you want to see something cool, I have this uh, plate here, which is Fiesta Wear. This is uh, Homer Laughlin Company uh, Fiesta Wear. And this is radioactive red, or some people call it atomic orange. Looks more orange than red to me, really. Um, and we got up to uh, yeah, 114 on that one. That's about the top that it's going to read, I think. But this has a lot of uranium in the glaze. It reads a lot higher than what these do. Check this out. Now I'm going to let this read for a few minutes and then I'll show you how high it gets. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. So the uh, number I was looking at before was actually the, uh, that was the average counts per minute. So that's going to climb up over time until it reaches, uh, you know, what, what you've got here. If you leave it sitting long enough, but this is actually the, the live reading right here. So over 2,700 counts per minute. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's unbelievably higher than what we were seeing on the uh, on these other things. So much more uranium in here than in those. And I will tell you that we'll get out the light here. Um, this this plate doesn't really particularly glow, you know. Um, it, it does kind of uh, seem like maybe there's a little bit of a whitish, you know, something going on there because normally you get uh, you get like a purplish color off of the uh, the UV. Um, and you're just getting more of a white here, so maybe a little bit of a reaction, but um, it doesn't glow green like uh, like this does, you know. And that's just because of the color, uh, the dark color of it. You're not gonna get that same kind of reaction off of it. But yeah, 20, uh, 26, 50. It's bouncing around a little bit, but uh, somewhere around 2600 to 2700 seems to be the range on that. Now we will. Take that down, and we'll put it back into one of these other ones because I want to see. Um, you know, the interesting thing is it's uh, it's taking a little bit for it to uh, to go back down, so I'm going to have to leave it for a little bit so we can see what the real reading is. But I was previously reading this average counts per minute, and um, that that's erroneous. We need to be reading it. Um, there, that's better. But we need to be reading it um, over here on the uh, the live reading, and we just need to wait for that to uh, to go back down so that we can get a real reading. Okay, so now again, uh, we want to be looking over here on the left side, counts per minute. So we're up to 180, back down to 171, 
back up to 170 for a second there, back down to 160. So we're just kind of waiting for it to stabilize a little bit so that we can get a pretty good idea of what the actual uh, reading is here. So it looks like we're in the area of uh, 155 to 160, some something like that. Um, so yeah, a little bit more than, than what I was getting earlier when I was looking at the average. I was just looking at the wrong thing. Now we're back up to 170, but you see it it went back down again. So you know it, it fluctuates a little bit as it does the counts, but you can get a, a pretty good idea. And if you really want to leave it there long enough for the average to come up with a uh, proper number then you can you can go off of that but it takes a long time for the the average to uh, to come out um, you know with a, an accurate figure because you can see it's still counting down from the high counts per minute we were getting off of that fiesta and just a quick history about this guys I got this information from the National Autumn Leaf Collectors Club. So there's actually a collectors club of people that collect the uh, the autumn leaf design. So Halls uh, started their company in 1903, and they started uh, they they introduced the autumn leaf pattern in 1933, and this pattern was offered until the late 1970s. And that's all information according to that National Autumn Leaf Collectors Club. Um, so credit to them for that information. Uh, these, uh, I, don't, I don't know when these were from, but my guess would be that the ones that have uranium in the glaze are probably older, and the ones that don't have uranium in the glaze, like the ones over here that didn't glow, those are probably newer. Uh, the reason for that is because usually uranium was put in glazes uh, and uh, into things like uranium glass for pigmentation. They, they did it usually to get a certain color out of it. And um, they found out later that they didn't need uranium to produce those colors. They could uh, they could produce those with other safer pigments. And they didn't really, uh, you know, at some point they were like, you know, you know we don't really need to be working with uranium um, because, you know, people that have to work with the uranium, it could be a little bit dangerous for them. And uh, so they found safer glazes to use. And the... Uh, these ones that uh, that don't glow here, these are, like I said, probably my guess, the newer ones that don't have the uranium. And these are, again, my guess, probably older. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection of this autumn leaf pattern uh, dinnerware by Halls Superior. It's pretty cool. And remember, uh, some of it glows and, and some of it doesn't, so you kind of got to check it yourself. And you can also check it with a Geiger counter like we did here. So remember, until next time, the world is full of cool stuff. Go out and find some. Thank you.